Dunwall is changing fast. Six months ago, Draper's ward was where Dunwall's rich and well-born strolled and shopped and tried to be seen. The plague burned through it in days. Today, it's a battleground where two street gangs fight over the spoils. The Hatters and Lizzie's gang, the Dead Eels. Lizzie Stride was the boss until Edgar Wakefield betrayed her and took her place. And the riverboat. It's the kind of thing that happens every day in Dunwall. I don't judge him. I've done worse myself. But I need that boat. Edgar Wakefield and I have business. The textile mill used to run off a water wheel before the canal went dry. It started up again recently, and whatever the Hatters did to get it working has enraged the dead eels. They're fighting in the streets. Knitting to do? Crawl back to the river. You ain't a real gang. You're just a bunch of mudlarks. Come on and fight. Or are you too busy making dresses? Somebody's gonna go over your core by bullshit. Go sleep in the river mud tonight. Admit, I'm stymied. I thought dragging it up out of the mud was a hard part, but I have no idea how to open it. Hammers? Really? Look at that thing. You think hammers?
course it's locked. Look at it. You mean you haven't even tried it? What do you think? What the? Someone's a It's over. Just make it quick. Get up! <laughs> I thought I was finished. They'll never believe who saved me. Still around. Somebody get over here. business. I understand doing what's got to be done. But Wakefield... And Lizzie kept to a deal once she made it. She weren't no cheat. Exactly. After last night, I don't know who's going to buy from us. Well, well. I can tell so much about a person by their clothes. Yours tell quite a tale. Who are you? Are you with her? With her? Delilah. Are you with her? No, but you don't have any roses. What can you tell me about Delilah? I used to make clothing for the Caldwins, you see. I adored them, especially young, precocious Emily. She was such a delight. 
Did you ever meet the Empress? She was so special. And I was able to count her among my friends. I had a lock of hair from young Emily, a keepsake given to me by the family when my hands grew too stiff and clumsy to work the needle. I have treasured it so. And Delilah? She visited me here. Such a surprise to see her, all grown up. So serious. Did you know she was once a playmate of Jessamine's? Before she was Empress, when they were both little. I thought it was a cordial visit at first, but it turned... frightening. What happened? She made things come out of the shadows, long and grasping. I can still feel the cold on my neck. I sound mad, don't I? Perhaps I am. She questioned me and left me propped in the corner like a bolt of cloth. I couldn't move for three nights while she made the horrid markings you see now. Then she stole my only keepsake, my lock of hair from dear sweet Emily. Ah, uh, Emily, where are you? Damn that Corvo and damn Delilah. Rayfield's a hard man, but he's not as fun as Lizzie. Lizzie enjoyed it more. Yeah, even Lizzie never drowned victims in a sack. Still see him squirming for air. Yeah. How's he gonna top it? Dies. dies. Edgar Wakefield is on board the Undine. He's put all of the eels on alert since Lizzie's rumored to have escaped from Goldridge. He's expecting her. You will undoubtedly be a surprise to him. Just waiting to be taken. All those prancing nobles yeah, and fancy masks. Strip them of their jewels and set them on fire. Finest time in the world. Drown. Wakefield sealed himself in the cargo hold of the Undine. Smuggling ships like this one often have a hatch underneath for dumping contraband if they get caught. Perhaps the Undine is no different. Two butchers came here looking for work, crying about their warehouse. What'd you tell them? What the Lab. fuck are you There's the boat. Get that creepy feeling Wakefield's probably watched. keeping himself below decks. That Whatever I do to him, it will be a mercy compared to a lit. Dowd. 
This is the second time now. I see something, or someone, out of the corner of my eye. But when I turn, they're gone. Someone is watching us. Keep their damn prisoners locked up. is assuming control of the dead eels now. She's ordered them to give you safe passage. Your friend Edgar Wakefield set me up to be taken by the City Watch. And you followed him. Took his orders. But you know what? I forgive you. All of you. I'm filled with love. But the following people each owe me a finger. Logan, Douglas, Bang Bang, Ferris, Pigface, the Bakers, and Annabelle. Shit. Two <laughs> from you, Annabelle. Have a good night. What? 
That piece of garbage, Edgar. I'm still living with his incompetence. He let the Hatters cripple the Undine. Ship seems fine to me. They took the engine coil. We're dead in the water. What is it? Can we make a new one? They don't make them anymore. Not for an engine like the Undines. We'll have to get it back. The geezer still leads the Hatter gang, right? I'll pay him a visit. It won't be that easy. There's a snag. Always is. What's this one? The Gazer's about a hundred years old by now. He's got it rigged so that if he dies, the whole place gets gassed. So they're real careful around him. Got him a nurse and everything. Maybe you can cut a deal for that engine coil. Turn on the charm. One of the Hatters gave me their door password in exchange for keeping the rest of his fingers. It's whalebone. I never got to use it on account of the gas. And being in jail. Just be ready to move when I get back. <coughs> you really think the outsider ain't real? What I see Dowd do that? Just because he can do street. <clears throat> City. I'm almost out of almost like it used to be. Pride oh. Rome's in the apartment up there. Quiet in the city. City. Almost like it used to be. Sir, 
The Hatters are using the textile machines to make shrouds for the plague dead. Now we know why they took the engine coil. The man who runs the Hatters is more cunning than he looks. He can flood this place with a toxic gas. In time, it'll eat through our air filters. You may have to make a deal. Is anyone there? I will find you. Nothing here. Must have been done. Where'd you run off to?
miscalculated badly. I predicted this would happen, of course. A man like Wakefield knows which end of a knife is for stabbing, but not much else. What's that? Oh, stop complaining, old man. I'm giving you a legacy. What were the Hatters before I arrived? I'll tell you. A shadow of their former selves. The butt of numerous jokes, in fact. Why did the Hatter piss in his own hat? What did the Hatter do with his last bullet? And so on. The answers aren't worth repeating. Leadership. That's what was missing. What with the embarrassing defeat at the hands of the Bottle Street Boys, of all things. There now. You mustn't become agitated. You'll inflame your arteries, which will only cause you unneeded agony. I can ease the pain, but only if you promise to behave yourself. No? Ah, that reminds me. I must see Jerome about getting more ox rush. I'm fresh out. My name's Dowd. I'm looking for Lizzie Stride's missing engine coil. I'm giving you a chance to make a deal. This is what I was just a bit of thing I'm about, sir. Hmm. Yes, sir. Very reasonable offer. Geezer here says you're in luck. We only need that engine coil because someone shut off the flow that turns our water wheel. I sent men into the sewers to restore the flow and not one of them came back. But what stopped them won't be a problem for the famous Dowd, will it? When the water flows, I'll give you the engine coil. Here's the key to the sewer entrance. And it's a pleasure to do business with you, Mr. Dowd. The Hatters will behave themselves. As long as you keep your end of the bargain, Dowd. <laughs> Keep this position. He says to bring a bottle, I bring a bottle. He says to bring food, I bring food. He says to undress, I undress. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 